President Biden is reaching out to the governor of New York after the blizzard and bitter freeze killed dozens in Buffalo. Meanwhile, several states across the country remain buried under snow and more is on the way in some areas. Lee Jackson is in Washington with more. The death toll from the weekend blizzard continues to climb as authorities in Erie County, New York, discover more and more victims. Died in a car, died outside from exposure, uh, died in a snow shovel or cardiac event regarding the snow blowing. Additional snowfall is expected later today. The National Guard is already assisting New Yorkers. While the White House says the federal government is ready to come to the state's aid too, declaring a state of emergency. And tweeting this photo of President Biden reaching out to New York Governor Kathy Hochul Monday. We'll be getting through this together very soon. I feel confident of that. But the most important thing is please stay at home for the next day. The winter weather is causing travel chaos on the ground. We are asking people to stay off the roads. And at airports nationwide, delaying more than 8,000 flights on the day after Christmas and nearly another 4,000 canceled. We have just been stuck for, what, a good 18 hours now? It's a complete and utter zoo chaos. It's crazy. And the problems aren't over. Southwest Airlines warning mass disruptions will continue this week as the airline operates at one third of its schedule for the next few days. According to Flight Aware, airlines have canceled more than 17,000 U.S. flights since last Wednesday. In Washington, I'm Bree Jackson. Back to you.